Okay, um, just uh, can I have a show of hands anyone that's used uh, the new Google Sites? Anyone experiment with it? So it's a, it's a tool which, are, um, which we've been using a lot at Halcyon. We've been using it for um, both for teachers to set up courses, but also for students to be able to demonstrate their work in a slightly different way. And just as I think it was Mark's last slide, um, it's kind of when, when students know that their work is going to reach a slightly larger audience, that uh, there's something about that that really adds to their focus. So I'm just going to set up a site, and you can see that I've got two of my colleagues, uh, um, that they've already been added as collaborators to this site, so thank you, Denise and Natalie, they're at the back there. So the, the, the way that it works is super straightforward, more straightforward than apparently being able to hear me. Can you hear me? Cool. So I'm just going to go here, I'm going to stick a title and I'm going to call it New, oh, New School. Next thing I'm going to do is I can, so, so I can bring in various elements into my website, um, but a really easy way to do that is just to double tap and I can choose from this wheel of five options. If I go for the text, I can just type in welcome and I can change this to a heading title, to, to a heading style and I can change the, the emphasis so it pops a little bit on the page. Okay. Uh, next thing I can do is I can uh, choose to find an image of my school. So the way I can do that is, again, I can uh, click on image element, and I can do a Google image search right from the site itself. So I haven't got to go and look up a URL and bring it in. I can just type this. I'm just going to type in school. And would you believe it? Here is a picture of my school. So I can bring that in here. But I want to give a little bit of uh, caption to it. So I'm just going to drop in another text box and something along the lines of welcome to our school we're great join us okay um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to below here I'm going to drop another section in with a bit of a about us and the thing with this is that you can resize everything so if I go with about us it's going to kind of duplicated the, the welcome that it's maintained the um, um, maintain that consistent format and rather than just having an image I can do a YouTube search from within the page itself. So this is direct from the website. I go to YouTube and I can look up Halcyon School. And this is this is great. This is the this is the video which is actually put together by, by one of our students. So they did it off, off their own back as a personal project and it's a wonderful video. Just to make it look a bit neater, I'm just going to drag it across there. And actually I'm going to resize that as well. Just to make it look nice and smart. Put another note in here. Please look at this video. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a third section in. How am I doing for time, Mark? Perfect. Okay. So if I want to say more info, and then what I can do here is I can drop things like maps in. So if I want to put a map of my school, I can just do a um, so I can search maps. Halcyon School. There we go. Once I search for it, then I then put, can put the map straight into the site. And I can also add elements like calendars, which is super useful too. So I'm just going to drop in this demo account here, this demo teacher. Drag this up here. And then what's really nice, for, for those of you that have used sites before, and you can see, as I say, so, it's, so I've got two of my colleagues have done wonderful sites too with subjects. So we've got an economics page here, a PE. Thank you, Denish. So you can see here, and then, uh, and, and I can also access the math site. But, um, but uh, what's great about Google, uh, the new Google Sites is that it's, that it's fully responsive. So without doing any coding at all, I can actually view how this site's going to look before I publish it. And the, the, the way that I do that is I click on the preview icon, and this is what any visitor to my site would, would see. And in the bottom right-hand corner, I can also, so this is how it would appear in a browser, if I want to see how it would appear in a phone, which is brilliant, bearing in mind lots of my students, lots of people visiting would probably want that, then I can also see the, the, the way it will appear on a mobile display. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful tool. If you haven't used it, we're, we're a huge advocate. We've also got lots of links here. So what I'll try and do is I'll actually share the link to this site on Twitter, and it's got three or four, just one final thing, um, and it's got three or four, possibly four or five actually, links to work that colleagues have done in, in, in their subjects. And we've also got, got a newsletter produced by the students. Thank you. Um, and, and we've got a newsletter produced by the students, which is also held within Google Sites. And th these are all public. 
Um, so, yeah, thanks very much. That's Google Sites. Any questions? Look forward to catching up. Cheers. Brilliant. Thank you very much, John. Cheers. Thank you.